misses him. <laughs> a face like that never changes. If anyone can get you an audience with the Earl, it's Sheriff Eustace. I hope Percy Hamley will show more understanding with us than he did with the people of Wigley. I'm concerned what kind of man Percy Hamley must have become to kill people for mere poaching. Good day, Sheriff. I must talk to the Earl. It's a legal matter of utmost urgency. Get in line, monk. Are they all waiting to see him? What did you expect on court day, monk? I fear this is going to take a while. I'll go look for Richard. Seeing that he's going into battle, he needs equipment. In the meantime, let's hope I can persuade the Earl to rethink this breach of our agreement. I'll talk to Meg about the sales of the Priory's wool as well. We will find a way to keep the Cathedral's construction going, Philip, with or without the stone and timber they took from us. We must. That's not the price we agreed on. It is what we agreed on. Both of us. Maybe Good to see you, Meg. I'm here to collect the money we've made so far. Three. Um, excuse me. We're in the middle of something. What's the problem? Even you merchants have become thieves. What a rotten place this has become. He ordered the cartload of wool weeks ago. But now he refuses to pay the price we'd agreed upon. Let's think about why the prices are so high this year. So you can put more money into your pockets? Actually, the Earl has raised all fees. It costs more to pass the gate, to set up shop, to get a license, and to trade. I suppose. But the price is not as was agreed. <sighs> Did you use a tally to record the price? Well, uh, are you with the sheriff? Just who are you, woman? I am the owner of this business. Oh. Here's our half alienor. Now, would you kindly hand me your part of the tally? I think renegotiations are in order. This split tally is invalid. There are more notches on our part. Two pieces. Two different prices. Mm, but the area with missing notches is thinner than the rest. You're right. It looks like something was carved off. Wh what? Are you saying I'm a fraud? Look, times are hard for all of us. I, I won't report you to the sheriff. <laughs> this wool will not make enough cloth for all of my master's servants' clothes. Let alone all the shirts he wants for himself. Whoever pays servants and wants to wear many shirts should be able to pay the price for quality wool like this. Quality? Yes, but it is not high quality. Now that you mention it, I see it. I cannot pay that much money for bad wool like this. No, he's doubting the quality. Fine. Then let me prove the quality of my wool. <coughs> Just you try. Excuse me, would you care to give me your opinion on the quality of this wool? Of course. Please, show us. Oh, how wonderfully soft. And what thorough scouring. There isn't a hint of dirt or grease. The fiber is exceptionally fine. And the color is even and light. Suitable for high quality garments. I'm glad you think so too. Would you be so kind as to confirm this to a customer of mine, should the need arise? Of course. Just send them our way. With all these taxes and the shrinking markets, I wasn't sure whether visiting Shiring would still be worth it. But for that quality of wool, I'll say it is. I'm taking my bed. 
business elsewhere. Please, calm down. Baby, it's all too expensive. Daylight Five robbery. Bricks. Good we agreed bricks. on the price. First you say one thing, and then you say another. Is this how you treat all your customers? There are Flemish merchants just a few streets away. They were very interested in my wool. And they would be delighted to confirm its quality to you. Anyone can let their friends lie for them. Then we'll leave it to the people. We'll sell the wool at the afternoon auctions. That way, it fetches a fair price for certain. No, 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 wait. Maybe we can negotiate. My master would not want me to leave here with empty hands. Competing with foreigners and nobility is no trifle. They're relentless and have deep pockets. Aliena. But if you prefer to take your chances. No, no, wait. I'm taking the wall, all right. I don't want to ruin you. My master can afford it. He just doesn't want to. And he has a temper. God damn it. You show no mercy, do you? <laughs> A pleasure doing business with you. Next time, he'll buy elsewhere, I'm afraid. A good merchant always strives for a deal that feels like a victory for both sides. Remember that. We don't need customers like him, and we have our money. Yes, and you have my thanks. W one more thing. Could you try to get Ovid's Amores for me when you travel to Winchester? It's a book. Yes, I can ask Brother Theobald. His book collection is more comprehensive than the church would like. <laughs> then he'll be the right one to ask. Thank you. No problem at all. I'm astonished that you can still find trade in times like these. I can only repay you with my gratitude for now. And our priory's wool, of course. It should be enough to keep our workers around until I have solved our problems with Percy Hamley. But Tom said that without stone and timber, we will have to stop construction in a month. You must speak to the Earl. I still have to give Richard his money. But then I'll come and wait with you. From the looks of it, I'll be standing here for quite a while. Have you seen a group of knights led by a man named Richard of Shiring? You mean King Stephen's knights? Uh, last time I saw them, they were chugging beer at the Lion and Lamb Tavern. They're going into battle, so they'd better not fall in love tonight. How thoughtful of you. Where can I find the Lion and Lamb? That's a tavern. In the tavern district. I would point you in the right direction, but... But... I have both my hands full. So I can't really point. I see. Today we ride to Lincoln.
drinks are on me. Taverner, another round for everyone. You're the best, Richard. <laughs> it's Sir Richard. Nonsense. We're all brothers, right? It is Sir Richard. Oh. And here I thought you needed my money for new armor. Oh, I do. A knight is only as good as his equipment. Have you seen Alonzo's sword? With men at arms so well equipped, how could I fight alongside King Stephen less well equipped? And inferior armor may cost him his life. <laughs> only the best for the best. Hey, you should be more responsible with our money. I spend it on my reputation. What's more responsible than that? Uh, you are paying for other people's wine. Some of whom you don't even know. Knighthood is about more than fighting, Ali. It's a way of life. We fight together, we drink together, we die together. Right you are. To hell and back we go. To hell and back. Alonso, you make that sound like a bad thing. But you could spend our money a little more wisely. Do you want William Hamley to become Earl of Shiring or me? Oh, what kind of question is that? If we're lucky, then he will never return from the Holy Land. He already did. What? We ran into Robert of Gloucester's men. At first, I wasn't sure it was him. He wore the cloak of a crusader. No. Don't do it. Please. Have mercy. My God, please. Shh. Don't. <laughs> and then King Stephen called out his name. William Hamley, join me. We ride. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to upset you. You what? This is not about you or me, Ali. Allowing the father of that monster to remain Earl would not only betray our father, it'd mean betraying everyone. William is a butcher, a filthy bastard without honor. Mind your tongue. You speak of the son of the Earl of Shire. I am the son of the Earl. Sir Richard, your father went against our king and lost his title and his land. You are not the heir to the title, not as things are now. What did you just say? Not oh, easy. You treacherous bastard! Calm down. Do you want to slaughter each other and help the enemy? <laughs> Accusing me of treason. You're most royal man at arms. Me or William, choose a goddamn side, Alonzo of Toledo. Come on, choose! Fact. How would you solve a quarrel like the one over there? Everyone has their own way of coping with aggression. Food, gambling, or solace in the arms of a wench. Luckily for me, most resort to drinking. I doubt that'll work here. Don't say that too loud. Try this. What did you just say? Oh, no. Would you like something to eat? I only accept food from Meg. She's a tradeswoman. And the food others throw at me is rotten. But she gives me good food. Meg is one of my best friends. Oh, yes? Then I accept. I'm so hungry. You're so nice. How can you afford giving some girl a whole slice of bread? I'm a tradeswoman. Oh. When I grow up, I'll leave Shiring and make lots of money too. 
So when I return, Auntie doesn't have to worry about bad men asking for money anymore. Bad men? Very bad men. How would you settle a fight? If you're in trouble, run. Oh, but they're usually friends. Running wouldn't help. Then let them play a game to decide who's right. <laughs> Good idea. Do you have any games with you? We carry the French game of Fierge with us. Oh, could I borrow it? If you bring it back before nightfall, I see no harm in it. I, I will. Now fight it out like real knights should, with a battle of wits. Playing a board game, uh, I don't know. You're scared I could win. Oh, let's begin. <laughs> now, let's start with a careful opening. Good choice. The general who gives in to anger will send his troops to their deaths. Exactly right, Ali. First, I'll focus on defense. Let's see what Alonso's got. Ooh. Well played. A classic opening move. Now's a good time to attack. Oh, sometimes victory lies in numbers, but often it lies in a single soldier at the right spot, right? Yes, and I play to win. And here I stride to victory. Oh. You reached the end of the board. What a crowning. I got a king. Hmm. You call this piece a king? In Spain, we call it a queen. She's quite powerful and has a mind of her own. All right, a queen then. Now I can sweep the entire board with her. You know what you're doing. Show him what you can do. All right, Ali, here we go. I've got a queen on my side. Time to rampage. When the Sovereign has been claimed, the game is almost decided. Oh. I could fight to the last piece. But a good commander has foresight, and I can see this game is lost. I admit defeat. Ah, you ended this before it even began. Even a scribe would struggle making this an epic of glory. This was about strategy, not showmanship. And it seems like Lady Aliena is an excellent strategic advisor. You work exceptionally well together. <laughs> he never makes compliments like this. He's the tactician. I trust his instincts and experience to guide him. But you yourself are an exceptional diplomat and businesswoman. You compliment each other in the way you think. I guess you're right. If you are wise enough to trust these queen's instincts in this matter, my friend, you too will indeed be able to take back the elder. You think we can do it? So, can I rely on your loyalty? <laughs> you can. Of course, we're brothers in arms. <laughs> Good. You've an important battle ahead of you. I'll bring you the money. If that's all you got. You're not the only one who needs my support. 
But what's more important than the oath we gave to Father? Kingsbridge. The people who took us in. Well, if I die in battle, you'll know why. Yes, because of your pride and stubbornness. Must you really fight? What is all this good for? For Father, Ali. I will save Shiring from Percy Hamley. But who's going to save you? With men like these, I'm afraid I'm already beyond saving. For victory! For victory! For victory! I see. I wish you the best of luck. I'll be at the marketplace with Philip. And make more money, I hope. You've done me a great favor. We are glad to hear it. Thank you for returning it. We always pass the time on our travels trying to best each other. Have you finished your business? Yes. Glad to hear it. Philip. I now understand why our market at Kingsbridge has had more visitors lately. Shiring isn't what it used to be. Steep taxes and strict laws have taken their toll on the town. Is that so? These merchants would give anything to do their business at another fleece fair, but there's none nearby. They need a place with fair taxes, one that can put those taxes to good use. Are you thinking of a fleece fair in Kingsbridge? And the woman he's with! You! Impatient monk! It's your turn. The girl, too. Me? What? Did you want me to come with you? No. We're not first in line, are we? Well, lucky you, then. Get moving. <clears throat> Philip of Gwyneth, prior of Kingsbridge. The Earl of Shiring. Thank you for hearing me, old Percy. Please allow me to introduce my friend, Aliena of Kingsbridge. I knew it was you. <gasps> <laughs> oh, it doesn't sound like you missed me. I demand to talk to the Earl of Shiring. He has broken his word. You are talking to the Earl of Shiring. Bishop Whaler. The enemies of this earldom have taken Percy Hamley from our midst. Mother! Do you consider yourself a friend of the Earldom of Shire, Philip? Friend? That damn monk is drinking the blood of my Earldom! It is not for us to damn them, Lord William. But judge them we must. What you are doing to the people of Shiring is shameful. Your father would have done well to teach you respect. The monk's a thief and so are you. And I don't take as kindly to thieves as my father did. Shiring will change. <laughs> what crimes did we commit then? The king has never licensed a market in Kingsbridge. Your market is illegal, Philip. You are stealing my taxes by allowing my people to trade in your sorry priory, and you disrespect my authority! Is that true, Philip? I... I will talk to the king about this. You and your friends have always played by your own rules. But not anymore. 
fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. The days of Kingsbridge Cathedral are over. Now leave. The next time I will show no mercy. <laughs> <laughs>